Hi there and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be trying something a little bit new today. Did you see my last video where I made this new journal? It's a soft spine, hidden binding and it's going to be my new weekly journal. I'm very, very excited about this one. I spoke about it, the why and my feelings behind this journal in my last video. I will kind of touch on those a little bit just in case you haven't heard it though or seen the video yet. But um, we had Elise join our Patreon community last week to give us an online class. Elise has such a special way of creating. I will link her channel down below um, in case you haven't seen her, uh, Create with Elise. She is amazing. I was so drawn to her when I first saw her online and I feel not only drawn to her creativity, but just the type of person she is. And she's just so inspirational in so many ways and just the loveliest of people. So um, I love her to bits. I love the way she creates. And she just did this amazing class for us. Um, just using collage, journal spreads with collage. She has such a different approach to journaling. And I wanted to channel my inner Elise today and create in her style because I just get excited when I see her pages. They have so many different layers and you know how much I love a layer. But the big thing that she does differently, and I am going to start journaling in a moment, I'll stop talking. She creates a page generally without actually thinking about the photos or the journaling. She is just, she just lets her creativity, creativity take control and it leads the way and I love that. Rather than thinking, right, I've got these photos, I've got this story, I've got to match this up. No, she is the complete opposite. And I find that really exciting. I don't think I've journaled that way before. I'm gonna give it a go today and I'm going to work in my new journal. I said actually in the last video that it may be the next time I'm creating it's in this journal and it is. Um, but it's not just gonna be a case of opening up the page and the way we go. I want to do a little bit of background work before, just like Elise does. I am going to be looking for images. I'm going to be looking for scraps, bits and pieces to create as layers. I love the way that she has it all around her when she creates and then just takes bits and pieces. So we're gonna go through some of my stash today. We're gonna find bits and pieces. We're gonna cut bits out of books. It's just gonna be really, really fun. And this is what I've been so looking forward to. Um, as soon as she did her class, I just couldn't wait to create and I didn't manage it yesterday and all day I was thinking about it. So today is the day. We do have that class. If you're interested, it's over on my Patreon platform under online classes. So if you wanted to join to get the video, you also get over three years now, three and a half years of Patreon online classes, plus all the downloads, plus the extra videos. There's loads there. Um, so I'll leave that link down below. Right. I'm going to find some bits and pieces. Let's find some books first. Let's go through books. So this is my very fun book. Um, I found it up in the loft when we were moving. It wasn't ours. It must have been in there beforehand. So it is beautiful. I love that. Um, I'm just going to go through though and cut out some Ill images that really call out to me. Um, this is something that Elise does, she goes through, like for example, that would be quite cool. She does a lot of people as well. I'm not so much into the people. Um, I don't know what I'm in the mood for today. But, um, I thought this would be a fun video. I love the seagull. The other thing which I always do is actually check on the other side before I go cutting out. Um, we have a lot of seagulls in this around this house which we never had in our old house so i'm going to take the seagull yeah if that was on a really on the back of a really lovely image i would think twice about that um these are quite cool i like the deer and actually i've just been watching a deer from my window here or two actually um out like that might maybe that I don't use all of them but it's just to give me a little bit of a start Let's have a little through these are some scary snow white ones aren't they 
Do you like this kind of thing or do you find it a bit spooky? Some of it I find a bit scary. That is beautiful, the golden bird. I'm not going to cut that out, but that... Oh, sugar, that made me jump. I've got the windows open. Um, that is beautiful. Love these. These are so cool. Um, so my idea behind the new journal that I'm starting is that I'm just going to just journal what I fancy. I'm not going to have rules. Um, I'm going to be even more carefree than I usually am. And I'm just going to document what I fancy. Although it's a weekly journal, it may not be necessarily weekly. It's just going to be as I want in whatever date order. I'm not going to be strict with myself. I am going to be having fun with it. So I think, yeah, sorry, I've just changed my battery over. I think my main feeling, oh, I love that. For obviously this is quite a large book. My main feeling that would be cool to cut out actually to journal in. My main feeling about this journal is fun. That's what it is. I need to get the fun back in my life again. I feel like with everything going on lately, life's become quite serious. And I'm generally not a serious person. It's become... Oh, look at that. Could you imagine adding that in a journal page? Um, yeah, it's become quite stressy and I don't like it, to be honest. I need to work out how to bring the fun back into my life. And I think this is a really good start. The colours in this book are beautiful. Oh, see, look, could you imagine cutting out some of these? These are so sweet. So my images so far are quite outdoorsy. Isn't that tree trunk beautiful? I think, oh, look, Hansel and Gretel. I think Elise would take the tree trunk, don't you? By the Brothers Grimm. Oh, do you know, did anybody else used to watch Grimm? It was so good. Let's take out that. Um, it was really good. We said we'd start watching it again. We watched it with the kids years ago. That is beautiful for nighttime. Um, oh, I like those actually. Um, oh, Hansel and Gretel Cottage. It was really good. Grandma's really like that. I'm wondering if actually, I wouldn't mind something maybe florally, but I have got stickers and things so oh, I love that as well I am just looking through this book in such a different way to how I usually would my eyes almost have been widened and I'm really liking it that is stunning I, that's too I can't cut that out I think I want to keep that in the journal just having a quick look to see oh look at that this is the perfect book isn't it it really is. Any flowers for me? Got bears. That must be Goldilocks I'm taking. Oh, look at the deer and the squirrel. We haven't seen too many squirrel around here yet. Oh, I like that. Reminds me of our little house. Um, I might just call it a day with those. I think I've got enough. Oh, there we go. What's on the other side of this? Excellent. Let's cut these bits out. I've done that so skew with. I do quite like those as well, but I'm going to leave them in there. Yeah, I'm happy with that. We've got some nice pieces to get... Oh, that's pretty. To get us... Oh, Hans Christian Andersen there. To get us started. So we've got the ladybird and the leaf. We've got... I love that log. We've got the lovely moon and the sun a deer and a seagull perfect so this kind of sets my scene for colors as well i'm going to lay them out we've got blues yellows greens with a touch of red i'm actually going to go through some bits on my desk um, i'll do this bit as an ad gifted these were sent to me you might have seen the other day actually um, these were sent to me. It's Rose's Studio by Paper Maze. I have got so much stuff left over. Actually, I've got some words here as well. Um, 
so I'll leave a link to those below. So I've got some good wording there. Um, memories made with love. It might be that I don't use them, but that's um, the nice thing with this kind of thing. You're almost like making... Um, oh, I like that one as well. You're just creating a few bits and pieces... Um, and then you, we can start then layering things up a little bit. Let's pop that one there. Oh, I like these. We are going to have so much fun with this. I'm liking this a lot. Cool. And what have we got in here? Oh, we've got butterfly. That might be a nice one. This is going to be such a pretty collage. Oh, I wanted more florally bits. So we've got some there. Little how No, I'm not so fussed with those actually. Um, I like the stamp. This is just such a fun way to create. Let me know if you do something similar. I would love to hear from you. Like I said, please go and check out Elise. She has such a unique style. Um, I'm sure you'll find her inspirational too. If you don't watch her channel already. Right, got a nice few bits and pieces there. I don't know if you caught that me talking about the tags because I realised that my camera wasn't recording, but I don't know if I caught some of it. Um, I've taken out, I found Gap Kids tag from goodness knows how long ago. Got a next one which I might use um, and I've also got this one here which I may well sew around so this so far oh and I've also got a cake wrapper and a menu that I made when the family came to visit so now I'm going to sit down and start sticking everything in I've got a lovely double spread here I've got everything next to me so I can see where it all is um, I think I am just going to start, I'm going to leave that torn, I love that torn edge. I did think about maybe tearing these bits, but I think I'm just going to cut them out because we are going to be collaging a lot of it. Um, we do have a Zoom um, Thursday evening. Um, it's obviously it would have gone by by now with this going up um but i thought it'd be fun to do collage but it could be that we maybe do it on the next one as well if you really enjoy it or if some of you want to do it and you couldn't make it so um i'll leave the, the link uh, like i said i've already left the link saying that to, oh look i've still got the little hansel and gretel faces um i'll leave the link down below if you want to go and take a look i am liking that let's start gluing on and see how we go this is so fun. It's so nice doing something and not having a story or photos in mind, but just focusing on the page. I really like that idea. I'm actually wondering, I might leave that like that. Leave that like that for now. Could even end up painting that tag. That's quite cute. Um, I love that up there. And then, really like that, the blues, and just seeing the greenery there is so cool. Let's get some glue onto there. I'm going to leave the edge just purely because I love the stripy bits. That's cool. I like that. What else do we have there? We have got... Our ladybird that could go at the top there. We have got the deer. I'm excited about the deer. Could even put the deer. Let's cut the deer out and we'll see what we're going to do that. Yeah, so I would love to hear from you this video, your different techniques, how you work. Do you always start with your photos and your story in mind? Or do you just like to create for the fun and then fit everything 
in around it afterwards. Please let me know what you like to do. I would love to hear from you. Um, I'm guessing, I'm going to guess that most people create with their photos in mind. But am I wrong? I might actually do that there. Um, yeah, are there more of you that create Elisa's style and just do it for fun? Um, I'd love to hear, actually. I think that would be an interesting topic. That's so cool. I love being able to see the deer in front of the house. There was literally one right by the front door the other morning. <laughs> really close. It's so cool. We're just not used to this. Not this close to the house anyway. But we've had saying that we've had wildlife in our old house, but they'd accidentally got from the common onto the road and it's not safe because there are cars. We've had deer outside the house that have got lost, but they're scared when you see them. They're not relaxed like the ones here. because They're not where they're meant to be. Oh, I quite like that one actually. We had badger, badger in the day, which was really weird. In the old house, had all sorts. And lots of foxes. The foxes used to keep us awake. We haven't had so many foxes. We see them. Um, we've seen them on the door cam. But we haven't actually seen, like they would keep us awake in our old house. They used to use our fence. I think we had, I think they had a den on the other side. We haven't seen that in this one. Oh, I've got a butterfly this side as well. That might be quite cool. Yeah, let's stick that on there. I think I'm going to, I think I've underestimated how much stuff I'm actually going to need. I love this packet. Do I keep it like this so I can pop something inside? That actually fits. But then it covers up the ladybird. But then I take that out and we can see the ladybird. Yeah, I might actually keep that. That is so cool. Yeah, let's keep that. Um, so I think I've actually accidentally decided this is the day that the family came over and I made Sunday lunch. This was um, the first time that my dad visited our house. Um, and I made a Sunday lunch for everybody, which was lovely. Oh, I could fancy one of those now. I'm doing pad thai for dinner tonight. What is the time actually? Oh, it's three o'clock. It's a bit earlier than I expected. I'm already ready for dinner. I made really good oatmeal for lunch today. Although it's like 27 degrees, I still made hot oatmeal. I really fancied it. And I'd watched um, one of Love Meg's videos and she made Reese's oatmeal, which is what inspired me. Healthy oatmeal with a teaspoon of Nutella and a teaspoon of peanut butter. And then I added strawberries and raspberries. No, strawberries and blueberries as well. It was so delicious. Really, really good. That's so cool. And then that can still fold there. Um, I have got this, which I might add. And that is there. I quite like the idea. I might roughly cut this sun out but then scruff up the edges to roughen them up a little bit and see how that looks I quite like that the colors go really well and it's nice to have something when you take that out I think as well I am going to journal on the back of this as well. Yeah, I like that. I might actually make that just a little bit lower. Just check it. Oh, it does. It goes over the ladybird. Glad I checked that. There we go. 
I do want to make sure I've got space for photos and things. I think I might actually add both tags under here for photos. And I like the idea of adding a photo behind here as well. So we're going to leave that there for the time being. Got some flowers I would quite like to add. I'm just going to attach those on the side. I need to add some more staples. Let's pop them over a little bit. No, we did actually have staples in already. I don't know why that didn't work. Let's try again. Oh, it's playing up. There we go. And I think I might actually grab some more of those. I've got loads of them. There. Oh, that needs to... Oh, no, that folds over like that. Cool. And I'm going to staple this here as well. Now time to cut out our little seagull. He is so cute. I kind of feel I need something a little bit housey as this is the first time that my dad's visiting the house. I might actually go and grab maybe a house stamp or something like that. I think that would be quite cool. Might pop that there. And I was thinking about this tag as well. I might not even sew it. I might add it as a flip and then journal there. I quite like that idea. Might add that on. Oh, I tell you what. That as a layer. Like that, somewhere to add a little bit of wording. And just for now, I am going to add my tag there with a little bit of washi just to see how I feel about that. So it's not permanent at the moment. Oh, I've got it stuck to both. Just had some time going through my stash seeing what I could find and um, I found a few good bits and pieces just realized these have got enamel dots on the back right so I think I am going to stick down what I found some of it is quite relevant to the stories I want to tell so the escape the ordinary is the fact that I don't have what would be classed as an ordinary family at all. I love the You Are My Sunshine. I think I will stick that down here. I've kind of laid them where I was thinking they would look nice. Um, I love this little card there. Wondering, will that stay in there? I could actually clip it in. I might get a clip. I like that. I love that there let's grab my staplers oh wrong one again try again there we go and look at that little fox i love i found i think that's a simple stories fox let's put the fox up there and then i'm just going to piece together some other bits and pieces that i've got laying on my desk it's just almost like trying to fill in the spaces. That's what I'm thinking. We have got a touch of pink, which I quite like. Let's slide that over to there. And then I thought we would add the sunflower there as well. And then I've also got memories made with love, which I, I might actually end up stapling that on let's pop that there for now but I did want to put a photo under there I found this as well which is the negative of a stencil I thought that might be quite cool to pop on there just to add something else see how that stays um oh and I've got some bits and pieces up here I found this ticket 
Um, it's a drive through ticket, not an original one. It's obviously something that's just come with something else, but I thought it was really cool. So I thought we would slide that under there because that's what I think um, this kind of thing, this kind of journaling is all about, isn't it? It's just sliding bits in, adding them here, there and everywhere just so that your eyes don't know where to look. I love that. Let's add the bank for on there. We'll add that one on there as well and we'll use those tags those tags could be used for journaling or photos i've forgotten actually we do have this bit here as well which i don't want to forget oh you know what i could do these come in doubles let's grab two and that's what we'll do and then we can have them to Together. Sorry, it's a noisy day outside today. There's lots going on. There, I like that. And then we can add the leaves. And I could start then thinking about photographs as well. There'll be a space for journaling. This way of journaling is very, very therapeutic I've just had the idea I might actually create or pop something behind here I think um, just so that when the tags are removed there's something there Yeah, I prefer that. Let's stick the leaves back down. Cool. I wanted to do some stamping as well, so I think I am going to grab my stamps out. I think I'm just going to use normal black. I did want to do housey stamps as well. I've got this one here, which I've never used before. It's a really old stamp of mine. Oh, it says school, but I might stick something over the wording there because we don't want the school. Let's put that there. Also got this little house on there as well. Oh, that didn't go so well. the only problem with this kind of thing it's not completely flat I should have stamped onto paper and stuck it on um, that's what happens when you're impatient like me right we need to cover up some of these stamps I've got enjoy every day that is going to go over the bit where it says school. Perfect. I don't like that stamping so much. I don't mind that one, but I would prefer to pop something over it. So I am going to have a little think about that. Let's just cover up a few, well not cover up, but add a few more bits and pieces. That's the good thing with this kind of thing. Cover ups are completely okay. <laughs> I think this is going to be one of those pages that I walk away and then come back again later with fresh eyes. I think that's what I'm going to do. Right, I am continuing. Right, I am continuing with the following day. I popped back into my desk a few times just trying to see what the problem is, how why I feel that I'm not 
very happy well I like it but it's not pulled together enough and um, I think I need more green I want the green to pull it together so I've been going through my bits and pieces I'm actually thinking I was looking at this I quite fancy having that on the outside so I think I'm going to attach that I think that would look really cute um, and then I've been through my stash and I've collected some green bits and pieces as well um, and yeah I think I'm just going to add some green on here I like that bit of blue I might even add some green stitching there I think that's what I need to do in fact this could actually come on here then that pops on the top that was one of my lollipop bows by the way I have loads and loads of really cute page clips um, I will leave a link to my clips down below I've got all sorts they are so cute and they look so nice on the top of your journal pages I love that so when it closes look how cute right let's get back to this right let's add Hansel and Gretel I'm going to tear that down there and they are just going to appear on the outside I know Elise would really um, like that uh, if I do it that side and then I will just add something on the other side I think that's the way I'm going to do it um, so yeah definitely if you're struggling with a page um, walk away from it I find that's the best thing sometimes for me it might only be to go and have dinner or something like that I don't have to walk away loads um, but the overnight thing I find really helps that is so cute look they're just peering over I love that I'm not one to attach people to my pages usually but I do actually really like that um, and then I was also just going to add a few other bits and pieces I've got a leaf here I've got to remember that that peeps through I think I am going to add the green stitching on there oh and I've also cut my photos as well so um, I'm going to see if not cut my photos print my photos I'm going to add this one up here I might have to move the seagull slightly actually maybe the seagull won't be able to go there but that photo does go really really well excellent I like that a lot I think I am probably going to end up just doing a few minutes here and it will just all come together really really nicely right I need to try and get my brother in and aid in I might yeah just about there we go thankfully I didn't stick that down properly because I think that's going to work really well there's a lot of work going out there today around the what's outside lots of diggers so um, I apologize for the noise right I wanted that up there Good. no let's add it there. oh no I'm still blocking my brother we do it like that that will have to do I think and then add some greenery at the side I wanted oh I like that I definitely need more green and sometimes I find that is something that you just simply need to add that one color consistently over the page and that's what pulls it together I've done that before and it really really works if you can find one accent color it really does help there we go uh, right the little seagull where are we putting this little seagull now yeah let's pop that one there I didn't want to not include it I really love the little seagull cute right this hasn't stuck down very well let's add some tape on the back of that sometimes a glue stick doesn't quite cut it if you've got something that's a bit more stubborn oh no no maybe I didn't glue it down actually did yeah, I? I don't think I actually stuck that in last time I'm gonna add the 
green there. I think I just was going to use it as a bit of a pocket and pull it out. There, I've got this cute little leaf here, which is really pretty. Put that there. And I also found out some green washi tape. Oh, and I had this as well. And the die cuts, I like that. And then I am going to use, oh, I wonder if this is going to be one of those problematic washi tapes. You know the sort that just doesn't tear. It's quite an older one now, but I really like it. Oh, no, we might be in luck. Right, I love the Oh Happy Day. I'm going to pop that down the bottom. And I think this is now coming together. I'll pop that up there, actually. Cute. I like this. Yeah, I'm much happier. And I think I'm going to get my needle and thread out and sew on here. Um, yeah, I think that will do the trick. So I have made the tag. It's a little bit messy, obviously, on the other side. So um, I think I'm going to add something. I might add another one of the photos, actually, and pop that. It's really windy all of a sudden now, so apologies if you can hear that. Um, yeah, let's cover that with some paper. I'm going to go with these parts. Let's do that. Cover the back. And then we'll add a photo and then I've got space underneath as well. I've got a few other photos and I want to make sure that I have got space for my journaling as well. And I think this page then is almost done. I've left my thread out because I'm going to add a couple of bows. That's also another really good way to add colour as well. So I don't want... the tag completely covered up just part of it there we go then I'll put the photo like that actually I'm going to pop it in the middle Tape at the side. Perfect. There. I'm pleased with that. So now just having a think about where I want my photos to go. I've got a couple of tags I can use. I'm going to use that space underneath for journaling. I have also got this section here. Um, actually, that would work really well like that. I'm going to add that one there. Oops. I like that. Perfect. And then I've got these two as well, which I think I'm just going to pop on the back of there. I think that's perfectly acceptable. That's the nice thing with the page like this. It really, really doesn't have to be perfect at all. In fact, perfect's what you don't want. You want the very rustic look. I just think it's so much fun. Really, really good fun. Right, let's tie some bows. I'm going to do these in different ways. I am going to tie this one around here. This is such a good way to add a little bit of extra colour. And then you don't always have something to tie it to. So we're going to do these in two different ways. Let's trim that off. I'll add that in a moment. And then we are going to do this one. I might do two like this actually on their own and I am going to stick that one like that and then 
stick the other one on the other side like that perfect now what I am going to do with these because the bows sometimes get caught up and they end up looking a little bit messy so I like to add a little bit of glue just so that they stay in place there we go and then we're going to stick this one down here and obviously it's going to need to, the glue is going to need to dry and this one as well this then adds a little bit of green oh my goodness it is so loud it's blowy really really blowy there this page by adding the green has really really worked i am so happy with that now i also almost forgot this part of my page here so i am going to add some bits and pieces i'm grabbed this old piece here which I really love I'm going to let's do two of those I'm going to stick them together actually because I'm not as fussed with the reverse I wanted the green stick those together to make a cute little green arrow and then I am going to attach that on there so that it points towards the page I have to say this has taken quite a lot longer than my usual pages but it has felt very very therapeutic look I love that that's so cool um, I'm going to pop that on there and I might find something floral going to tear this here right I am going with the tag I know I'm going to need to add a little bit of color to this it's not quite bright enough and then we'll add this one at the top like that Let's add some washi tape along there. And I've been taking more of these die cuts actually. I will link these down below. There, I think that is ready for my journaling. I am really really happy with that I think that's turned out so cute and that's it my page is finished I think it definitely needed the green I've done my journaling I've got journaling and photos on the back of tags I've got journaling underneath I've also um, journaled on the top there and here as well um, I didn't need to journal on the back actually I was quite happy with that but I am so happy with this page um, let's oh I forgot to journal here I'll do that afterwards, but um, I was just going to close that up. There we can see the first item peeping over the top. I'm really, really happy with that. I hope you've enjoyed this page. I hope it's encouraged you to maybe give collaging a little bit of a go, even if like you just did a cluster on a page to get started. And don't forget to go and head over to Elise. I will leave a link to Elise's channel below and also to my Patreon community as well. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Lots of love. Bye. There we go. I've just finished that bit now, so it's properly finished.